Guys, welcome to a video of showing you how to install the Apple CarPlay and just showing you a few features here. So basically what this Apple CarPlay unit does is it goes under the steering wheel column. It integrates with the uh, OEM menu so you don't have to worry about losing your menu. The only thing that you lose is nav. So basically when you go to nav, instead of going to nav, it just takes you to the Apple CarPlay and then you can pull up your nav on Apple CarPlay. And the volume, the volume uh, controls, they do still work because it's connected to auxiliary. You don't get the skip, but remember you can just go to the interface, click the button and skip. So you can either do wireless um, Wi-Fi or you can connect the cord as seen here. Both work seamlessly whenever I get into the car, it connects like right away. So you don't have to worry about, you know, setting up. I know the uh, original Bluetooth takes a few seconds, but this one's almost seamless. There's no issues with connecting. Um, yeah, the, the audio quality is going to be the same. It's just through the auxiliary source. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, the wireless or the microphones are integrated OEM, so it uses all the OEM microphones. You don't have to worry about connecting those. A lot of the times you'll have to worry about connecting those. In this case, it's all seamless and integrated, so don't worry about that. And then just to get back, you just click the menu button and you're back. So it's a... Uh, pretty easy to install it takes around 15 or 15 to really an hour I'll show you uh, how to install it in just a, clip, a few minutes here and then if you're interested in purchasing this product we do have the product below in the description and I've got you know free shipping so it's gonna be fast three four day shipping depending on where you are but yeah and uh, if I'm sold out I've got an email down below so if you can't find the product just email me it'll be uh, in the description as well and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this installation. Thanks. How's it going guys? Today we are going to be going over how to install uh, Apple CarPlay kit for a 2011 to 2016 Jag XJ, F-Type, and F-Pace. So this is what the kit comes with. It comes with the box, it comes with the Wi-Fi adapter, the USB, and then it comes with this uh, wiring harness. So the first step in getting this installed is gonna be disconnecting the battery, so I'll show you how to do that. Lift up, and right here, there's going to be a 10 millimeter little nut. I'm just going to loosen that. And then remember to put a rag around the trunk latch so that way you don't lock yourself out. Because if you do, you're in trouble. All right, all right. First step is going to be taking this plastic off. I've already slightly removed it, but the idea is just to pop all the way around it. And there's going to be clips on each side. See, they always don't come out easily. I already broke one, but that's okay. There's a lot of clips, so if you break one, it's not the end of the world. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is take this, uh, all these, there's four torques. This product is for sale. I'm selling this product on my website, listed in the description below. So if you're interested in buying this, let me know. All right, and then we're gonna remove the connector. Just push down on this tab and pull out. Set that aside. And there's two torques for the CD and Bluetooth exchange. And there's gonna be four bolts for the screen. And then I also would recommend uh, putting a towel down so that we don't scratch up any of your interior bits. I'm gonna do here. Just put the towel down and then 
I started on releasing this radio, so just gonna push down a little bit and it'll come loose. And we're just gonna disconnect each connector. A few little clips in the bottom that you push, push in and then they pop out. All right, so we're gonna set that aside, scan. And now we're taking the uh, CD Bluetooth out. We're just gonna disconnect all these two. Disconnect that plug last, that's difficult to get out. So now we can go to the harness, Get the main harness here. The first plug is going to plug in to this guy right here. Okay. Then that's going to go back into the CD. And then This guy right here. It's gonna plug into the top. The interfaces. That's good. And then for the box, this guy right here is gonna route. Into, into this guy box right now I'm not gonna route it though because it's gonna fit right under the steering wheel so we'll put this aside and then it's also got a it's got a Wi-Fi antenna what I'd recommend is just taking this sticker off and putting it on the top of this and it'll, that'll just go under there and then it's also got a USB so I'll show you how to route that over there so now we'll put that aside So now we can begin to start putting these connectors back. So this guy is going to go in here. And right, actually, I'm going to route this first before we start connecting all this stuff up. So. Feel this. I'll just stick that right here. And this USB. So I've already removed this panel over here. Show it in the back. I believe it's in the back. Got it back there, yeah. So I removed that panel from under the steering column, and it's uh, just a few clips. So a few of these guys, I would just recommend using a panel tool clip tool or whatever to remove it. And I'm just gonna stick this under here first. under there and then we'll route this under here and then you can just glue that or use a big zip tie to make sure it's nice and stable under there uh, two connectors that go to it are this which is the LVDS wire so that's just gonna go into the box so what I'm gonna do is go in here, route it. I'm actually kind of gonna feel under the steering column and then, 
once I feel that wire, I'm just gonna grab it. So I'm gonna do this. So I feel that. Now I'm just gonna go grab it, run it down there, and then this guy also. Push it down. All right. Put that down there. So now what I'm going to do is just connect that to the box. And for now I'm just going to take this box out just to connect it, but I'll put it right back where it was. Connect that, and then we'll connect this guy. back and tape, tape that up so we got our USB right here hanging out then for the rest of these connectors go ahead and uh, connect these up We'll do these bottom ones first. This one, we keep that for the climate control. Just keep it under there and make sure you don't move it around too much. Now this blue connector is going to go back in, but the other one's not, and I'll show you why. Alright, and that's it for the bottom connectors, just gonna put that under, line this back up, all right, so now we have our screen left, all right, so now the blue connector that I was talking about, we're not going to use the original, so this guy right here will not be used, it's going to be shoved back there when it's done, now we're going to use the one that goes to the box, Use the white connector. Right. Purple to purple, and then pink to pink. And leave this guy out, remember? And then one more. This guy from our new harness. So. Make sure all those wires are 
thing going everywhere. I'm just gonna push this back. There. Should be good. And then remember to kind of push this up first and then. All right, actually for right now, we're just gonna check it, make sure it works. So I'll just connect it up and leave it off for now. And then just to make sure it works. All right, so let's go back, connect our battery up. All right, once you guys got that battery connected up, just uh, go ahead and test the CarPlay unit once everything turns on, and then you're free to put all your screws back and your plate cover on, and you're all set to go. All right, guys, I hope you just enjoyed that uh, installation video. Thanks for watching, and uh, again, once, you're, once again, if you're interested in buying this product, it'll be in the description below. And if it's not in the description below, please email me. I can set you up a link or something like that. And yeah, um, just remember this also works with uh, Android Auto if you don't have an iPhone, but works for both wireless and wired. Yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Thanks for uh, watching and uh, purchase the product below. Thanks.